Growing muscle after 50 isn't a matter of who you know, it's a matter of what you know. Because when it comes down to what you do in the gym, your success is all about how well your program is optimized for your age. Winging it and hoping for the best result isn't gonna cut it, especially when it comes to building muscle after 50. You just can't hope your way and guess your way to a better physique. I'm Simon H, the naturally jacked 53 year old, and it's my mission to help guide you through the maze of building muscle after 50. Stick with me and we'll muscle our way to the league of extraordinary gentlemen. Now, if you've been watching any of my previous videos, you'll know that when it comes to building muscle after 50 in a safe and controlled manner, I will challenge anyone to find me a better protocol than the slow motion, high intensity hit training. Now, just in case you don't know what that is and you're new to the game, let me give you a quick fire rundown on what this protocol is all about. And then I'm gonna answer this week's question and give you another reason why you, if you're serious about building muscle after the big 5-0, while you should be all over this protocol. Slow motion high intensity training, AKA shit, is a very short, very intense training protocol that allows the older gentleman to safely use progressive overload to build muscle while lowering the risk of joint pain and injury. One key point of difference with slow motion or high intensity hit training is constant tension. You take a muscle to the point of failure by not letting the muscle rest during the set by removing the lockout phase of each exercise. Another key fundamental to the effectiveness of this training protocol is the super slow lifting. You see, what makes it special Instead of appearing to a mere two second concentric phase, followed by a brief eccentric portion, slow motion or high intensity hit training adopts a different tempo. Here, the focus shifts to elongating both the concentric and eccentric phases, aiming for durations of five to 10 seconds on both the concentric and eccentric portion of the movement. Consequently, a single repetition spans 10 to 20 seconds. This deliberate pace distinguishes shit from conventional methods, prioritizing controlled movements over heavy loads. By embracing this super slow approach, shit alleviates abrupt directional shifts, thereby mitigating strain on joints, tendons commonly associated with traditional training routines. Here are some of the really cool benefits of HIIT training. Joint, ligament and tendon friendly. It builds bone density. Controlled intensity, volume, frequency to prevent overtraining. Optimized recovery. Reduced risk of injury. Muscle fiber engagement without burnout. Efficient workouts for time management. And it is both motivating and challenging. And it is efficient workouts for time management. Now we added some context and got that out of the way, let me answer this is question. And the question goes a little like this. Wouldn't it be better just to slow down the most important part of the rep, which is the eccentric portion, instead of wasting time and prolonging the overall repetition? Good question. Now, let me explain. In the quest for building muscle after 50, one often overlooks the importance of concentric phase of lifting. Yet, science reveals that the speed at which we lift can profoundly impact the muscle growth and strength, especially as we age. Let's delve into the science behind slow, concentric lifting, its remarkable benefits for the individual over 50, and why it stands shoulder to shoulder with the concentric phase in the pursuit of muscle gain. So first, let's just break down what the concentric portion of the repetition does. The concentric phase of lifting refers to the muscle shortening action, such as lifting a weight during a bicep curl or pushing a barbell during a bench press. Traditionally, emphasis has been placed on the eccentric, which is the muscle lengthening phase for muscle growth. However, recent research sheds light on the potency of slowing down the concentric portion, typically to five to 10 seconds per repetition. Here's the first benefit that you should be aware of. 
and that is more muscle fiber recruitment. Slowing down the concentric phase increases time on detention, a critical phase for muscle growth. This prolonged tension stimulates a greater recruitment of muscle fibers, maximizing the muscle's potential for growth. For the individual over 50 who may experience a decline in muscle mass and strength, optimizing time under tension through slow concentric lifting becomes paramount for counteracting age-related muscle loss. Here comes the second benefit for the concentric phase of a repetition, and that is metabolic stress. Slow concentric induces significant metabolic stress within the muscle cells. This metabolic stress triggers various cellular pathways associated with, with the muscle hypertrophy, including the release of growth factors and the activation of protein synthesis. By challenging muscles with controlled, deliberate movements, individuals can stimulate greater metabolic adaptations, thus fostering muscle growth and resilience. Benefit number three, joint and connective tissue health. Slow concentric lifting also offers notable benefits for joint and connective tissue health, essential considerations for older individuals. The controlled nature of the movement reduces the risk of joint strain or injury while strengthening the tendons and ligaments surrounding the joint. This enhanced joint stability and resilience not only safeguards against injury, but also facilitates greater training volume and intensity, further promoting muscle growth and functional fitness. See, like a good husband and wife team, they complement each other. You've got the concentric portion driving or activating the metabolic stress, while the eccentric portion drives muscle damage and repair. By integrating slow motion training into an individual's routine for building muscle after 50, they can now build muscle, build strength, while lowering the risk of injury. Attention men. Increase muscle mass after 50. Cut your gym time in half and say goodbye to wasted effort and hello to incredible results. Are you tired of spending hours in the gym without seeing the results you desire? Do you feel like you're stuck in a rut, unable to break free from the limitations of age and achieve the physique you've always dreamed of? If so, you're not alone. You might believe that building muscle after 50 is an impossible feat. But what if I told you that all you have to do is optimize your workout to suit your age? Imagine transforming your body, surpassing even your 35-year-old self, with just two scientifically-backed 20-minute workouts per week. It's time to break free from the marathon gym sessions that have you spinning your wheels and unlock your true potential in double-quick time. Introducing the revolutionary The Silverback Muscle Mastery, 16-week video-based follow-along workout program designed specifically for men like you who are ready to reclaim their youth and redefine what it means to age gracefully. Now I know what you must be thinking. How are two 20-minute workouts per week going to build muscle? I've been training this way for the last three years and I've done all right for 53 years young. Say goodbye to your dad body and hello to a physique with boundless energy, strength, longevity and vitality by clicking the link below. With this program, you'll experience results like never before. Do the work, and in just two weeks, you'll feel stronger. In one month, you'll notice visible changes. In two months, your family and friends will start to take notice. In three months, everyone will be amazed by your transformation. And in four months, they'll be asking you for your secret. Life isn't just about the moments we experience, but the decisions we make in those moments. Each choice shapes our path, defines our journey, and ultimately becomes the story of our lives. And as you navigate your journey, remember, clicking the link below might just be your best decision yet.